In this process, I came across a very wonderful name called Judith Rasband. This February, while I was sitting in my home in Mumbai, I saw this advert in TOI. This led to ICBI. My dream was about to come true. Prior to starting this session of image consultancy, I attended a session with Mr. Rakesh Agarwal. There were two things which stood out in that session. I always judged a person based on their appearance. How many times I have been wowed by an appearance of a woman? Sometimes a man also. <laughs> and there was a second thing which he said, Lecture dena sabko acha lagta hai. Meaning, every one of us likes to express a opinion. Now, wow. I knew about clothes. I thought, huh? I knew about clothes. I could chat to my heart's content. I will be in the limelight. This was definitely my cup of tea. Assignments were yet to come. But that is another story altogether. On the very first day of my class, I saw this impeccably dressed lady. She smiled and she welcomed me. I was sitting among this bunch of happy, confident, poised, good looking, and definitely younger ladies and a gentleman. Then this trainer of mine led us into this world of messages, styles, and made us aware of each and every aspect of our appearance. She pushed us so that we dressed well for each and every class of us. She cajoled and demanded the very best out of us. Today, I admire, respect, and adore our own Nicola Bharadwaj. <laughs> Nicola taught us the style scale. My eyes literally popped out that day. Here was a well-researched guide which could already tell me why the suits were formal, why the t-shirts were casual, the why was sinking in. Every time somebody wore an ensemble, there was a reason and there was a message. My God, it was fantastic. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. In another session of ours, uh, we were taught the elements and principles of design. Balance. Scale, proportion, ouch, difficult. Rhythm was an instantaneous hit. Now I understood that when I had read about focal points, it had a deeper meaning to it. Right? You all agree? But there's something else. While reflecting on this session, I understood that I needed to seek better harmony in all my roles. If I become a better mother, I would probably nurture my clients better. If I become a better friend, I would probably advise my clients better and vice versa. Today, I seek harmony and aspire for, aspire for unity internally and externally. Dreams come true, mine did. Another class. Well, that is what I have learned. Personality style class. What happened was I was prodded, I was questioned, I was told to tick mark each and every likes and dislikes of mine. Now this class reminded me of the Rubik Cube. Remember the Rubik Cube where we used to twist, 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 the objective was to find a uniform color on each side. 
So Nicola questioned us. I was tricked into answering the sharp lines, the soft lines, the fuzzy lines, all that. Finally, I understood. Why did I like classic patterns better? Why did I like fewer accessories? Why every time my son picked up a bomber jacket and weird looking shoes? Why was that? Also, my best friend, every time she walked to shop, she always picked florals. Now, why was that? That reasoning was coming in. So, that was great. Life was good and I was a little peace with myself. All my life, I have strived for that perfect shape. <laughs> Don't we all? Which of us likes to be compared to a fruit and an apple and a pear at that? Even if it's something exotic like a kiwi or a cherry, God's sake, I'm a human being. Shape class, in walked Saira. She was fabulous. Thank God. I wasn't a pear, an apple, baked potato, nothing. I was an inverted triangle. She introduced me to these two wonderful words, figure variations. Size zero vanished. Today, I accept my body better, and I find I have a tool to help other people with their figure variations. Throughout this enthralling journey, I learned to manage my clothes better, my wardrobe better, cluster them, organize them, and that was wonderful. Apart from that, like I mentioned before, uh, I was a shopper for all and sundry. Sometimes these excursions of mine were looked into very kindly. Sometimes people were not so kind. Today, from being an unpaid shopper, I have become a paid one. Imagine that. Dreams come true. Mine did. The class that actually took the wind out of me was the color class. I remember a transatlantic call which I had made to my hubby a few years back. I had told him, darling, I have got a pale mauve shirt for you. He's like, please speak some English. What is mauve? <laughs> Men. I thought women understood colors better, especially me. I knew my oyster, my teal, but the color class really, really left me breathless. Today. I'm learning to manage and coordinate my colors better. The hue, the value, the intensity is sinking in. What I was doing subconsciously, I am doing more consciously now. In all this enthralling journey of mine, there are so many people who have helped me. And this, whatever it is I talk today, would not be complete without all of them. But before all that, we took training in dining, in etiquettes. Then came communication, presentation skills, then uh, train the trainer, to name a few. In walked Mr. Sham Kumar. In my mind, he's our Dronacharya. Whether I become the Arjun or not is entirely up to me. Throughout this wonderful, beautiful, soul-satisfying journey, I was helped by my batchmates, Banshri, for her sheer determination. Grace, for her positivity. Pritha, for her professionalism. Swati, for her maternal instincts. Ninu, for her candidness. Ruchi, by her sheer presence. Kavita, for her humbleness. Kurush, by his people's skills. He was the only man in the whole class. He handled all of us. And Parveen, by her ability to learn. 
In this journey, whenever I met Mrs. Suman Agarwal, she was always encouraging, eloquent, and happy to push me further. Mr. Rakesh Agarwal, I will hold you to your promise that if I walk four steps, you will walk 10. The thank you would be incomplete without ICBI staff, Saira, Zenith, Rogers, Sandeep, Advita, Jyoti, Smriti, thank you. And without all my Gurujans, apart from Nicola and Mr. Sham Kumar, Saira, Devanshi, Lata, Smriti, thank you. But before I end, there is something very nice which I discovered in this journey, which I must share with all of you. Take what God has given you, the height, the weight, the personality. Dress, groom, and communicate well. Stay healthy, have a positive attitude, never stop learning. Above all, have a warm heart. There is no competition in destiny. Run your own race. Wish others well. May all your dreams come true. I repeat, dreams come true. Minded. Thank you.